Yeah, hi folks, this is Ron Shira, and I'm at the Freiberger Gallery of Penn State University on Berks campus in Reading, Pennsylvania. And uh, we're going to be looking at an exhibit of uh, artwork by Chip Kidd, who is a, um, I would say, a commercial artist, a book cover artist, who has over 15,000 books that he designed the covers uh, for over the course of uh, a number of years here. Um, uh, we're going to take a look at this. A little pre-show right before the opening here. Managed to sneak into the gallery and we're going to take a look around at all of this stuff. Now, um, Chip is a graduate of Penn State and he's about the closest thing that you could call an uh, uh, advertising art star. He, um, it's, uh, oh my goodness, the, the number of books here is just astounding. And quite a few of them that uh, you'll recognize he has um, written a couple of books himself actually and uh, I'll get to the titles of those in a minute here I haven't read them myself um, but we'll just take a walk around here and check them out I'm sure you'll recognize a few of these Some of them are actual layouts. I mean, these are actual drawings. And Cormac McCarthy, The Road. Cormac was also the writer of the movie No Country for Old Men. And Rice. Michael Crichton. Now what's nice about this exhibit is that the director Marilyn Fox has outlined it in a way where the uh, you actually see some of the process of how these things are created. Layouts, drawings. And here for Jurassic Park, uh, Michael Crichton was concerned about how uh, they would be represented in the book. Well, Sonny met is that um, editor said, don't worry, Chip thinks we can do something with skeletons, and uh, there's the uh, famous Jurassic Park image. James Elroy says, I'll die one day, my, my books will live on. Chip Kid's art will enclose them. I'm honored and grateful for that. Yeah, Chip is also a fan of comic books, popular culture. John Updike, another Reading uh, expatriate. Here. Now, these are novels by the artists themselves, as with the learners. Chip Kid Book One, Cheese Monkeys. Oh, you, honey. You're, I got my coffee. You finally got your coffee. Thank you. 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 Th
got your coffee? All righty, all righty. That's what makes. You get some chips. Well, we I, we we spoke just for like a couple of minutes, but I wanted to I wanted to get some info some information. Do you want to go out in the hall? Yeah, maybe that would be better. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to walk. Yep. Okay. Hi, I'm with uh, I'm with the artist right now, and um, hello, hello there. And I'm I'm Ron Syra, and this is Chip Kid, uh, and um, Chip is uh, a very talented uh, uh, book designer. Uh, Illustrator and and how else do, can we describe you, Chip? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carbon-based life being. Carbon-based. That's that's a cool description. I like that. But um, you're very. Uh, I I can't help but look at this this work and see um, see all kinds of different art forms floating in between them. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's far uh, removed from what they consider as as being fine art. Right. But it is uh, it is an art form of the uh, of the of the popular culture that uh, it's what people read and what they like to read and and, and it is um, it's a, a mix of uh, what people read is uh, as attractive and entices them into thinking about what's inside of the books. So is there any is there anything that you do that um, is is something intrinsic to your uh, performance as an artist? It does this. Um, well, I mean, even though here we are at a gallery, and I'm and I love this show, I actually don't really think of myself as an artist. I think of myself as a graphic designer. So, um, well, I'm, you know, so that kind of I don't know, upsets the question a little bit. But um, I do feel that you know, like I still have to create stuff, and I still have to make stuff. But I'm doing it in service of. In most cases, somebody else's work of art, basically, which is the book, the, the prose. Right. Well, you're bringing out we're, you're bringing out the uh, the written character of what the of Cormac McCarthy and David Sedaris. Well, I and, try to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's excellent work. I mean, uh, Thank you, you. and you know, I, I mean, I can <coughs> count a number of the books mm -hmm. that I have read uh, read myself that I wasn't even aware that you had done the designs for, and I'm. You know, and I, I, you know, and part of the reason that I picked the book myself was because of the attractive design of the book. Yeah, you know, that, that it, that's, it, that's it, the idea. You yeah. Know, um, you know, a lot of I, I don't mind being I, the design itself is, is what's supposed to be the main subject, not me. Uh, it's supposed to uh, attract your attention to pick the book up and look at it. So. But not to take away from the excellent job that you're doing as, as, as putting that together. Well, thank you. Yeah, because I, I really think that you do an excellent job. In fact, I, in, until Marilyn brought this together, I really didn't know too much about you. Uh -huh. But now, and, and I know your dad quite well from working at the Home Depot. Oh. Yeah, because worked with, <laughs> I worked with him. Well, he worked in the paint department for a long time, and I, you know, and I, and, and he and I are buddies. But, uh, yeah. Chip says something I'm not an artist, a graphic designer, but you know, you have to have some kind of a casting in our history to be able to pull up these images and, and, and snap with them so quickly that you have to have an extreme knowledge of art, of art history, photography, and all that to be able to know where to go. No, I, I totally agree with that. Like, yeah. you know, uh, design students ask me all the time, you know, what how, what can I do to become a better designer? And it's a, I always say, you know, art, art history, but also graphic design history. Because mm -hmm. graphic design history is actually relatively young compared to art history as a whole, and um, really only in the last 15 to, 15 to 20 years has it been really being seriously taught. Yes, in, yes. in, in college, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in, in the art school, in the art department. Right. Hey, I'd better let you get back to it. Thanks, Ron. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I know. There's people waiting to, to, to speak with you. Oh, okay. All right. But Chip, I want to thank you very much for giving me this moment to talk with thank you. Thank you, and and uh, and, and this, this and my this, dad, and, and, my dad, and this is Thomas. Hi. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a little bit there. Uh, okay. <laughs>